Well, hello, America. How are you doing this afternoon? I, uh, oh, you're looking downstairs. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, get you straightened out here. Hey, I uh, got the sink in and I'm gonna let that caulking dry and then uh, later after it gets that drying, I don't it won't mess up or anything like that. I got these little clips that go up underneath there and you know, that permanently bolts it down, I guess. Um, I'm sure somebody's gonna say, oh, you should have put the fitting in first and all that. Yeah, well, probably, yeah. But I don't have, or the faucet, I mean. Uh, I don't have the faucet yet, so I uh, haven't picked one out. Uh, finished up for, uh, yesterday. I uh, went ahead and finished the rest of this trim. And since I was going along there and I had easy access right here, I decided to go ahead and put this in here instead of that instead of that white stuff uh, as a headliner in the uh, cabinet. I just went ahead and put the, uh, the wood and just wrapped it all the way around the corner there. And I am so, so happy with this, this ceiling. I love this ceiling. It's gorgeous. Uh -oh. I'll sit back in my chair and just look up and admire it. <laughs> it's just pretty. Beautiful wood. And then I come around here in the closet area and I run this down here. Thing is, there's, I'm going to put something here to cover this up. I think I'm going to come straight down and straight over and somehow cover, box this in. Okay. Um, so I left, I didn't bring these wood all the way over to this, this uh, furring strip here because that furring strip is going to be where I put another board in somehow to bring down. Anyway, I, I haven't figured that out yet. But I went ahead and run these all in here and uh, put a little, little ledge right here for them to sit on. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, oh, this damn tile. Okay. I was thinking about, let me sit you down over here. My arm getting sore. I was sitting there thinking about backslash. When I was building this thing, I thought about taking the wood and just wrapping the wood up about four inches or so, making a backsplash with that, you know. And as I got it in here, I got to looking at it. I thought, no, I want some kind of something more durable. So I was down there at Home Depot and looking around, and um, I come across these tiles. They're just regular bathroom tiles, like I think like floor tiles for the bathroom. But uh, I thought, you know, that, that come up one foot will be fine. And then I'll take that caulking, that same white caulking that I put here. I'll put in, in between the, 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 the gaps instead of mortar uh, or uh, grout. Instead of grout, I'll put, uh, I'll put, I'll just put caulking in those. And then run a bead of caulking right along the edge right here. And that'll keep water from going down behind there if you, you know, spill something. All right. Um, so anyway, it's eight foot. I buy 11 tiles. Okay. <laughs> Fun, fun story here. Uh, my luck, I guess. <laughs> I bought, I need eight tiles plus two on the end. That's 10 foot, 10 tiles, right? So I buy 11 tiles. And I wasn't going to wrap around over here. I was just going to do it over here because I was thinking I was going to put the stove right here. Well, I've kind of rethought that if this TV is right here, I don't want the stove right here with all the steam going up into the TV. So I'm going to put the stove over here somewhere. Like I said, at first, I'm just going to use the uh, inverter uh, you know, that, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, oh, this kind of stove. I can't think of the name of, um, uh, anyway, uh, uh, the, the magnetic stoves, you know, they don't get hot unless there's metal sitting on them. Anyway, I'm going to use that and, uh, um, for at first, and I've got a, um, somewhere, I think I brought it out here somewhere. Yeah, it's over there. It's a gas stove that I can put right here and put a propane bottle down below. And I could put that right in this area. Okay. Well, I decided. Well, if I'm going to wrap this around there, it would look it would look goofy if it just had it around here and then there was nothing on this side. So I only got uh, two more tiles, right? Or no, one more tile. I got one more tile because I had 11. And every one of these, and these are I didn't cut any of these right here. This last one I had to cut, and I've got a little tile score, or pop it, you know, break it, breaker. And uh, so I had to cut the last one and then these two here because they don't sit behind the, the countertop. They sit on top of it. So I had to cut about an inch or so off of that. Everything cut great, okay? Then I get over here and I start cutting. And I cut one, this one here. I cut this one perfect. Cut it right there. That's that little bit of an inch, inch and a quarter of the, the thickness of the, uh, the uh, countertop. And that one will go right in here. Okay, and then I cut another one over here, and I broke it. It didn't cut straight. Uh, so I run down to Home Depot, and I get another one more. I just get, I only need one more. I come out yesterday, and went to cutting it, and it broke wrong. So, today, 
I go to Home Depot one more time. I stood out in that line for about 40 minutes to get in the store to buy one tile for a dollar. It was like 95 cents plus tax. And I buy this tile right here. And I go to cutting it. And it, it cut perfect the first one, you know. But I need two cuts. I need to cut about an inch off of this side and an inch off of that side. Now, wouldn't you know, right? Get the light on here. I don't know if it'll show. Right there. A little crack. Here on the back side, you can see the glue a little better on the back side. Anyway, I chipped it off. A little corner here. <laughs> Just frustration, you know. So anyway, I say to heck, well, I'm not going to go out and stand in that line for another 45 minutes just to go in and go out and buy one more tile. So I got the uh, the glue, the same glue I'm gluing this on with uh, liquid nails. I only got some liquid nails and put just a little dab in there, and I set it, and it seems like it's pretty good. And I have that little crack, and I put that right down in that back corner back here. So I'm going to put this one back in the corner back here, and I'm going to put this one right here. Okay, there we go. And... I only got about that much glue left, so I hope it's enough. I got a whole brand new tube, but I hate to cut a new tube open and then not use it, and then it ends up drying out and you know ruins it. So hopefully that's going to be enough. So with that, I think I'm going to set you guys over here and let you watch while I mess this up again. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, that's going to. Yeah, here we go. All right, let's see what we can do here. Set that one down. Set that one down. And let me go get uh, my spatulas.